Okay, so in this video I will show you how you can back up your co-reader settings and some data on an e-reader that you have installed the co-reader application on. So let's start by going to my table cam first. Here we have a Clara 2e that I have a co-reader installed on. So we need to exit from co-reader first before we can do a backup so click up here and go to the hamburger menu and choose exit as you see there and exit from co-reader so now the e-reader will reboot into the normal co kobo software and after that we will plug in the data cable that is attached to my Mac computer so we can do a backup. So let's plug in the cable like so. Here we need to select connect otherwise we can't uh, get to this e-reader from my computer. So click connect like so. Now we have connected the air reader to the computer. Now we will go to my desktop cam. Here we have my desktop and now we will go into Mac Finder. Here we have Mac Finder window. And here we have the Kobo air reader as you see here. Let's open that in another tab here on my Mac, like so. Here, if we if we don't see hidden files here, we need to select Shift Command Dot. As you see now, I don't see any hidden files. So if I do Shift Command dot on the keyboard we see some hidden files as you see here so now when we are in hidden mode in finder we go into the folder called ads here we see a co-reader folder so let's open that here we see all the stuff that runs co-reader the stuff we should be doing a backup of is this file and this folder. And if you also want to backup your books and uh, highlights and notes and so, you should backup data. Because there you have all your books and metadata and so on from the books. These three stuff you should be backing up. Uh, and it's so easy, just drag and drop that into a folder on your Mac or an external drive or something. So I go into an SSD I have here. Here I have already have a co-reader backup, as you see, of these three things. So I will just uh, drag and drop this into that folder and write over all the old files uh, replace all the files as you can see now it copies all that into that folder so now I have the latest stuff from my Kobo e reader running Co reader, my Kobo Clara 2e here as you see as a complete backup. So now we can go back to the table cam. Sorry before that we need to go back to the desktop cam, sorry, because you need to unplug the Kobo e reader again to 
disconnect the cowboy reader. So click there to disconnect the cowboy reader. Now we can go back to my table cam. And here, sometimes a Kobo Claro 2E is very slow to get it that we have disconnected it from uh, the computer. So you see it still shows that you are connected. But uh, after a few seconds, you can actually remove this cable. Even if it looks like you, uh, that you can't do that, you actually can. So now I have disconnected this from a computer. Now I just have to wait so that uh, the Kobo Claro 2E, the air reader here, is booting up in um, the operating system again from Kobo. Uh, sometimes it can take a while as you see. And I have this problem more on the Kobo Claro 2E than other Kobo devices. So now that is how easy it is to do a backup of uh, co-reader very easy so now i can start my co-reader again the application the alternative operating system or alternative ui or or so so that is how easy it is and uh, please like this video and please subscribe to this youtube channel bye